Welcome, in this video will shortly address the BitTorrent usernames. So when I write down BitTorrent, so a XOP explorer, uh, I can enter for example XOPDEV and I will press enter, it will automatically pull up my account here. And in this case, I've got the username XOPDEV. Uh, this username is not stored in XOP Ledger, but something internal with BitTorrent. Meaning that, for example, I've got another account, like this is one of my other accounts, and if I would like, for example, want to have a username, you have the possibility of uh, more or less clicking on hardware login. Uh, no, my bad, I have to go back. It's not hardware login, it's somewhere there I can, oh, my bad here. If you click on the not register part there, if you click on that, then you can uh, define your own username. For example, you can define one, test123, and uh, then other people can just enter test1234 uh, on BitTorrent, but you can enter it yourself, and you can see that account. Uh, and if you click on continue, um, well, it's taken, so I'm just gonna enter some Fs here. And you can see now that, um, right, so now I would set the username, and I would have to pay, so if I confirm that, so it's not changeable. Uh, so like I said, you can you can change my, change it, you can delete the username, and you won't get the payment back. Because uh, the BitTorrent service charges you 10 XOP in order to do that. Uh, so you will have to do a payment with uh, with the BitTorrent stuff and the destination address and also from the exact sender. That's very important. And when you do that, the username is being set. But like I said, it's not stored on the XOP Ledger. This username is stored on BitTorrent. And, uh, but for example, also some also pulls the usernames from XOP scan and BitTorrent. So it would mean that people can see when you send uh, send a payment using some, they can also see the username you defined here. Uh, so just thus far that you understand more or less uh, how these usernames work. So like I said, uh, it's a setting stored at the BitTorrent server and it's just uh, like i said a username address registry managed by them and if you want if you'd like like i said one of these then you can uh yeah then you have to you can click on the not register part there and define the username you want to have so in this case it's peter wouldn't work because i have the one for example um but you can certainly just enter any name here and if it's free and available you can you should read all the info and after doing so, uh, then uh, right, then you can send the payment and you're registering your username. So also if we do it one more time, we can see here, uh, so also that you will be able to use the blah blah username with BitTorrent Explorer and other services which use BitTorrent API. Uh, so that's why, for example, some is showing the username because the some API also uh, in, uh, has integrated the BitTorrent API. So for address lookups, it's first querying like BitTorrent API, yes, somebody uh, uh, registered under the username and if somebody is, then some is showing it. So you can see here, our service used by, you can see here even who's using it, uh, who's supporting it, and yeah, that's more or less uh, what we can do and how you can register your own username. All right, so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.